get weird in a second. This Red Bull got me feeling funny. <laughs> All right, just that secret stuff from Space Jam right here. All right, let's go ahead and get it. It is Morton Koopa, it is Snake, and it is Get On My Level 2023. Let's go ahead and kick it off this match right here. Battlefield to start it up. Man, you talk about just being able to just kind of appreciate some characters. Bowser Jr., bro. Bro. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> How can you not appreciate some good Bowser Jr. play? You know what I mean? Using the Morton skin, as you did allude to as well, Rod. Definitely going to be fun, man. For great, we're going to see how this heavy artillery can kind of stand up to this Koopa cart, man. Because he got no problem kind of exchanging and clashing with you for sure. That's right. And I think the tricky part about this is that, you know, Bowser Jr. is no slouch in the strength department. Nowhere near as strong as, as, as Daddy-O. But, you know, definitely packs a whopping punch. So, it is ill-advised for Snake to throw some of those laggier options up close and personal. F-Smash, I've seen that move kill at ridiculously uh, low percent. Yeah. So. Let's see how it all unfolds right now. It's great right now. Really lean into the grenade gameplay, but Yoda K said, I can play that game too, bro. I can definitely play it as well. Oh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Now, you know better. When he leaves that cart, you better get the heck out the way. Real talk. Okay, grenades getting the job done right here. Setting the tone right here for both players. And I like this. This just kind of shows the duality of Snake. He is equally as dangerous from a distance as he is up close. Of course, has that frame three. Whoa, but when you're not the? on solid ground, Phil, you are in danger. I tell, listen, I heard of a leap of faith, bro. And I just seen one. I'm a believer right now. Mm -hmm. Big plays coming out from Yoda Cage. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, but nice. I like Grape right there. Keeping the composure and immediately able to respond. That's right. Cannot let this one get too out of control. Bowser Jr., no matter what level of play we are in Smash, is always going to be a head scratch when this character is done at top player proficiency. And we're seeing that right here from Yoda Cage. Great right now. Left without without words here in, in a couple of these exchanges. But at the Ooh. end of the day, you are still Snake. You have some great options, especially on the ground. Down air, of course, being his quickest aerial. You got, you know, F-Tilt as well, too. F-Tilt quicker than most characters' jabs, at least for that first hit. And then, of course, you just got that standing jab, too, that Snake can just really use to beat you down. Yes, sir. Man, that... All right, playing around each other. Huh? Nice. Okay, good usage of the dare just bring out those explosives and just trying to really kind of keep them cornered a little bit but i like the fact that yoda cage is playing exceptionally well around this uh this minefield that can be seen oh be careful that back here almost getting it done to nikita following following chasing but not going to be enough play the rest Ooh. put him in the dirt yes sir you know what it is that's right that kind of percent he's not playing around no make them guarantees not. Hey, man, we take those opportunities. This is Snake, for God's sakes, too, man. I mean, he's always going to be able to set up great stuff for him, but there's going to be some characters in the game that are going to put a bit of a thorn in the side. And I think, you know, given some of these exchanges, it could certainly be Bowser Jr. So you get those small windows of oh, opportunity wow. to turn up. You got to do it. Back row, you know it. And we saw that grenade actually interrupting that kill option from Yoda. So great getting a second lease on life and really making this one count. This is absolute insanity that we are witnessing right now. Yeah. This match is certainly starting to snowball out of control here. Yoda Cage has to make a play, he has to make it quick. You have backer, you have to worry about with Snake. You got standing F tilt, you got forwarder, you got a lot of things right now that Snake can really bring to the table now that they are in full control of the full terrain of this match. Whoa, my, but if you leave your feet though, you're gonna lose your seat on your second stock. That's is. how it always goes. Still an opportunity for sure, man. You got that one final stock. Can you make it count though? Grape has been exceptionally well. Look at the maneuvering from Grape. Full control over all the heavy artillery, making you second guess some of these options. Grape not playing around. All right, can't Oops. quite find the grab here. Okay, again, trying to keep this match onto solid ground as much as humanly possible. Yoda Cage, of course, has a different game plan at hand, understanding the importance of getting Snake off of their feet and then making them pay for it in dividends. Oh, well, oh, no, that, that, was, oh. Yeah, that was slick. I think actually maybe the grenade, not what he wanted to cause that explosion right there. Oh, opportunity lost. Able to get one out again. Okay, wait a second here. Yoda Case without the cart. Oh, off the mark with the grab, too. Probably looking for down throw. F tilt. This is what I was talking about before. The smash attack. Nothing to be trifled with. Good with Lord. the Koopas, okay? Oh! oh! Okay, he actually launched himself up to be in that position. So good stuff from Great. Great recognition on his end to close that one out because Yoda, Rod, he was knocking at the door. That was, was getting scary. That's right. That was like the government knock, too. We need to talk to you about them tax papers. Hold on now. I'm not home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look at yeah. this. Smart. Ascension. Mm. Who says Snake don't got hops, okay? Come on now. He might not be a super athlete like ZSS, but he can get up there. He be in the gym, man. Talk to him. Now, this was nasty, bro. This was nasty. <laughs> that was filthy. <laughs> them 
good replays definitely came out of that one for sure. And easy to see just, uh, you know, just how, especially Crape, able to, you know, kind of cause that upset over Big D, a very well-polished, situated player for sure. Boom. See ya. And I like that too. Yoda Cage kind of knew they were in trouble, tried their hardest to absolutely mash out of that, but I mean, you know, you know a Dunstock when you see one, all right? Once I get that down throw, you in that corner, I got two options. F tilt depending on the percent, up tilt depending on the percent. There you go. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say Grape was picking Snake. All right, here we go. Game number two. That first game, that one could have went either way. I yep. think it started out really good for Grape, but there is signs of opportunity, excuse me, on Yoda Cage's behalf. But let's see what game two brings. We're running it back to Battlefield, man. All right. Okay. Yeah, another big explosive game for sure. Like we said, man, great getting that first one, but it definitely did not come easy. Yoda Cage really making some strides, especially down the stretch. Here we got Grape, though, really utilizing the grenades. Kind of sneaking in some back airs when applicable. That's right. And it's such a tough task, I think, right here for Yoda Cage to have to work around. I think in order for, you know, Bowser Jr. to space, they're going to toss out a lot of aerials, a lot of, you know, forward air, a lot of back air. It's not even if you need it to, you know, connect, but just to kind of impose your will in the match. I am awake. You know, I'm spacing. I'm moving around. Yep. The problem is those moves are so damn big that there's going to be a good chance you're by a grenade. There's going to be a good chance you're going to hit it. And you know the minute you explode, Steak is out that corner and he's in your face with it. I actually feel like Grape is kind of... Line, uh, relying a little bit more uh, of a camp game in this one than we saw in the first exchange. Seems like he's a little bit more willing to slow it down on this one. Maybe understand, hey, I don't want to give Yoda Cage too many opportunities to get in because when he gets in, that's when it gets difficult. That's right. So I get in, I'm staying in. My boy is cold outside. There you go. F tilt, there it is again. Frame four on that first hit. You ain't doing nothing about that in the corner. Great matchup check right there. And of course, great temperature checker as well, too. Just when you think it's safe to drop shoot and press a button to get out of disadvantage, it ain't versus Snake. My normal's too good. Okay, grenade in hand and just kind of Z dropping him around to him. So glad you brought up the importance of him camping in this match. I think 100%. It, it's certainly something I think people kind of shy away from with Snake. But honestly, he can't go into every match of Guns of Blaze. Have y'all ever played a Metal Gear Solid? You can't just run up on every damn body. You got to get sneaky <laughs> in some of them games. Very, very true. I mean, you kind of see the difference, uh, you know, between that first, you know, that first game and what we're seeing right now, relatively close to the entirety. And then right now, just a complete blowout, man. Just electing to play that camp game. And there's not too much, at least at the moment, that we're seeing Bowser Jr. can do about it. They got to wade through that minefield of just, like, absolute explosives. Just not having the uh, the best time, man. No, and no, not really having the maneuverability to do it either. I mean, you know, you throw a grenade on solid ground, snakes on that top platform. You don't want to stay, you know what I'm saying, in shield on solid ground. But you also don't want to jump too early either. I still got run off the platform with the down air. I still got near. I have a lot of good options up close. So Yoda K is going to have to dig deep to try to bring themselves out of this deficit or maybe just start thinking about game number three. I mean, I hate to call it, but uh, it ain't looking good. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, okay. Well, at least the car has something to say, but... I mean, you get that stock off, sure, well done, but you're on your last one, 5% away from triple digits. Gonna take a miracle play right now, Rod. Not a, a not, yeah, not a stretch to say at all. No, absolutely not. And I think it most certainly be done, too. Yoda Cage is gonna have to really dig deep and understand that Grape is bringing just some tried and true snake one on one stuff to the table. And that's not to say that Grape can't mix it up or get flashy, but why would you need to when such a simple game plan that Snake has is just as effective as it is? Uh-uh, get that out of here, man. I ain't worried about these cannonballs. Yeah, Grape knows exactly what he's doing, too. Oh, oh early, early on the air dodge in place. Off stage again, and this is exactly where Yoda Case wants Snake. Mm. Uh-oh. All right, I mean, still some opportunities for sure, but, you know, again, we got to keep this kind of grounded. Got to keep it realistic. Here at 162, ain't too much more you're going to be able to survive, especially Grape decides, okay. Trying to put this one to rest. He's definitely looking for a dash attack. Mm -hmm. Here comes the Nikita. That's right. Stalking, hunting. That's right. I'm always on the prowl. I'm in your bushes with it. Down throw. Oh, if he actually didn't get that interrupted by the grenade, would have been fine for the up throw. But not going to matter as the back air mm -hmm. able to put it to rest. And just like that, great 2-0. You know what, Phil? I'm, I'm just gonna call it, bro. I'm, I'm gonna say it. I think we need to switch stages. I don't know if I'm liking. As, I don't know if I'm liking these platforms right here for Bowser Jr. I think on paper. My first thought was, okay, he has platform, so he has more room to hide from the grenades. But I feel like in that same turn of breath, the double-edged sword that is that thought process, I got more space to put grenades in, in C4s now. Yeah. So, And given how slow Bowser Jr. is, he's not really doing the best of job maneuvering around some of the minefield. He's having, he's having a struggle. He's having a struggle. You know, you kind of see a little bit of uh, visible frustration on Yoda Cage every now and then, too. You know, obviously, 
lot of those options, a lot of those opportunities get interrupted. But here we are. Okay, small battlefield. Sure. Okay. A little Close bit quarter. of, you know, some changes, you know. Some change is still, you know, a little bit of change. That's right. Change is still change at the end of the day. And both of these two right here fight for quite a bit of change right here in this Gommel 2023 bracket. And it looks like Grape kind of wants it a little bit more with the way that last match wrapped up. La game number one, I was like, it could go either way. That last match went the way the dinosaurs right there That's on the ODK. So game number three, this is their time to strike right here. Has the C4 stuck to Snake's face. Yeah, <laughs> Good right Lord. There. Sitting right there, bro. <laughs> Sitting not so pretty. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Able to get it off with the back throw. Get on some cheap damage as well. Okay, up there. Oh, nice. Just bonking this man right here. There's just no other way to really describe that sound effect. It's a bonk, my boy. Okay, yeah, and it's it's just it's an arms race right here, man. It's just who's going to be the first one to pull the trigger. And I guess on Snake's behalf, it's going to be on a grenade here. Might be the case. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. Don't get caught in that corner, though. Yoda K is very well aware of the wind condition here. When they get caught in that corner, whether I'm all the way up there or not, I can apply press from the other side of the room. This is where Grape kind of comes alive a little bit more. I would love to see Yoda K figure out a way to get Grape off stage. And there is just so much to avoid Come on both ends, and that is not going to be a favorable trade for Yoda Cage. You got the Mecha Koopas, you got the grenades, C4, everything just flying all over this stage. This is a very explosive match. Mm -hmm. yeah, right Otacon. now, though, better fit Grape. Otacon has Snake arm to the T. Whoa, but the same can be certainly said for the technology that Morton's bringing to the table as well. Up Smash is going to get it done and keeping this one relatively close just too, man. I think what really kind of hurt Yoda Cage in that last match in comparison to the first one was that he just kind of let those first two stocks trail away too far, and then by the time he really got the momentum to bring himself out the hole, it was already far too late. This time, That's true. understanding, got to keep this one close. Even if the match is going to devolve into just us throwing projectiles, I got to keep it close. Oh, yeah, nice. Grenade stuffing out the options there. Hold on. Ain't going to be no downers out of shit. I don't care how fast it is, bro. <laughs> I don't give a dang. Okay, let's see what we can do. Man. Oh, man, Yoda Cage yeah. is just unrelentless. Bro. Yeah, I was going to say, man, but like the thing I'm always worried about, man, is the, the percentage is really not favoring him. And this is where straight or Snake likes to strike. Okay, we're going super deep. Oh, Bringing that around the world real quick. Loving the tenacity with that recovery option, too, but uh, tenacity only prolongs the inevitable. Sooner or later, somebody's going to have to make a play here. And it looks like, you know, Grape right now bringing themselves out this deficit. 2%, 1% differential between both of these two players right now. And... Yoda case, there was ever time to strike. You got to do it as quick as humanly possible. Oh my god. Big read on Grace behalf. Could not find the up tilt. Oh man, that Koopa actually, I think, what, used against Yoda Cage right there. Let's see, can he get past all this pressure? There's a lot of it, but maybe to get back to center stage. Man's thinking about it. What we got? Grab? Mm -hmm. oh. There you go, yep. Put okay. him in the dirt. Interesting. Now I thought that that I thought that down throw up tilt was only true at 160 plus percent. He grabbed him before 160. Or am I bugging? Somebody let me know if I'm tripping or not. <laughs> maybe maybe I was asleep in Smash University. I don't know. Regardless, Grape right now with a pretty understandable lead. I mean, I, I got to give it to him, man. I, he just, with the way this match kind of kicked off, Grape just knew, hey, I'm Snake. Yeah. I know what I got to do. Less is certainly more in this matchup. I can definitely get up close to personal and get my hands dirty with my up tilt, F tilt. I mean, we've seen all the Snake's normals and how powerful they are, but he knows. The real money right here is the long game. These grenades getting the job done. The wood. Oh, wow. You know, for a second, I actually forgot. I thought for a second we actually had one in one stock. But nah, that is uh, that is great with an incredibly strong lead. And really, Rod, I don't know how much longer my man Yoda Cage is going to be able to prolong this one. Yeah. It has definitely gotten out of hand again. Again, you're just fighting such an uphill battle. I mean, you don't have the artillery to outmuscle Snake. Solid edge guard, though. You saw the red sparks there. No tech zone for show. 83. It is doable for sure. Yes, it is doable for sure. It is very doable, man. I'm a believer. I don't. I don't think you come this far. You know what I'm saying? Not be able to get one game on the board for yourself. I think the problem is that Snake is such a bully, and what I mean by that is characters that do what Snake does but better. Like, they just, they just crap on Snake. Yeah. But when Snake does what you do, and he's better at it, he becomes a big bully. And courtesy of that up tilt, showing you exactly why the six frames of pain coming through right there on Grape's behalf. There you go, man. Big bully, big boot, big victory. Grape takes it 3-0 over Yoda Cage. Those are some solid back-to-back -back victories that Grape is definitely putting on the board. Mm-hmm.
Let's go and take a peek at these replays here. Nice. Even after you hit him, the Nikita was already on its way back. Had Snake's back right there. Oh, yeah. I love that up smash. Let him know there is signs of life right here. We do have a pulse. Caught him slacking. That does happen up close. And was able to make him pay for it. Yeah, that was 100. Why? Oh, you know what it was? Is that he hadn't taken the damage yet from the down throw. He hadn't taken it yet. He yeah. had. Yeah, okay. That's what threw me off. Anyway. Oops. Yes, still looking good. Grape, of course, just an absolute force right here. Holding it down for the home soil as well, too. We are in Toronto. That young player is Canadian. And, of course, there's a lot of Canadian threats here in this bracket. We had Ouch. Of course, we had Big D. Fortune on the loser side. You know, you got Grape. You got a lot of other strong individuals here. Riddles. I can't forget yeah, about Riddles. Riddles. Riddles is here. He's also in Losers. What? Who yeah. put Riddles in Losers Twitch chat? <sighs> you know what, man? Streets is getting crazy. I think Shu, she might have beat him. Oh, yeah. Well, she's cracked. Yeah. yeah, she's cracked. That makes sense. Right, yeah. I can see it. I can see it. Shoot. Oh, she ain't nothing know. nice. Well, all right. You know what, Riddles? I'm, I'm, I hope we get some matches of yours later on. I know we're going to do, obviously, a lot of winners, but we should get some losers here towards the tail end of this block. But before we do that, we got to talk about these next two young individuals that are about to throw down right here now. We got Moist Delight. That's the player that needs a little to no introduction, but I want to talk about my man's Jen. Some, some players might not know Jen as well as that some of us do from the East Coast. I'm not from the East Coast, but lived there for a little bit, and I've seen Jen kick some ass, okay? He's actually took Akula. Remember, let's make moves Miami. Yeah, last course. stock, last hit, game five. That was five. crazy. I actually thought he was going to do it, bro. I, was, <laughs> I remember I was watching, like, yo, this has to be a huge upset. He's like, you know what? If I ever get an opportunity again, you know, maybe I can close it out. But uh, definitely, you know.